way to a pedestrian. The impressive road research center in Berkshire and a look at latest developments in the Channel Tunnel project. More than 200 motorists offered themselves as guinea pigs to help scientists determine the exact design for the carriages to be used. According to research, a railway under the channel is preferable to either a bridge or a road tunnel. Certainly, in this experiment, it took only minutes to load and unload the cars from the test carriages. For several months, the research team at Leeds University has been experimenting with a scale model. The problem is to overcome the shock waves created when a train enters the tunnel. On present estimates, the final decision to build the tunnel will be made in about two years. It could be ready for service by 1978. Looking further into the future now to a computerized taxi service. This exciting idea involves a network of overhead tracks on which passengers are whisked away in driverless cabs. It's all controlled by a master computer and magnetized tokens are used by passengers to direct the robot cab to their destination. It all sounds very utopian, but it may be closer to reality than you think. But for the present, research work continues on our existing highways. This test demonstrates how easily a heavy lorry can tip over on a roundabout at only 19 miles an hour. And watch what happens with worn tires fitted to a car. The same corner again, this time with new tires all round. The two road surfaces here look identical, but one's in bad condition. I think I'd rather take it easy in one of those computerized taxis. But there's nothing easy about this. In case you feel like trying it out,